Now, the summer market is in some ways tied to the actual summer season, the season of summer. Um, in in our market, I think we can you know technically call summer pretty much June, July, and August, but it's also tied to seasonality that comes with the school year. It's tied to the attitude of buyers and sellers, but really the biggest pivot point is the start of school. We call that the fall semester. It may still be the season of summer. It's certainly still hot summer weather outside, but the season changes as the mindset of buyers and sellers change. So what has changed? Well, I'll tell you on some levels, and this is still true, probably won't be true for a whole lot longer, but it's still true that seller confidence dips a bit at the end of the summer market as they sort of start to think the thought, well, we didn't get it sold over summer. School has already started. Life is getting busy again. Now, we're in a COVID world right now, so things are a little different. But in a traditional world, sports are starting up. You know, school zones are on. I got to my drive to the office has changed, dropping the kids off, picking kids up. Travel is more restricted because we have the school calendar and all those things. That is usually an obvious transition from summer real estate market to fall real estate market. Now, a lot of those things are present this year, but a lot of them are not. And I think the transition will last a little bit longer. By now, pretty much everyone who has kids or is you know near schools or anything knows, school's pretty much started for everyone, not everybody, but most but it started virtual for almost everyone. Again, not everyone, but most. There's gonna be sort of a second back to school when many of the children that are virtual are gonna go to in-person school. Actually go back to school. Actually go physically into schools where the drop-offs and the pickups and the schedules and the work, homework and things are a little bit different. That will extend the back to school transition from summer real estate to fall real estate. Now, Labor Day cannot come quick enough. Well, and for a lot of people, they won't make that transition. They'll stay virtual. And I think there's at least, if not an expectation, uh, some caution around if we go back to school, how long that might last, right? For sure. So the point is this back to school period is elongated this year. So the transition period is elongated. But the, tr- the stereotypical summer market is a little bit more supply, more homes on the market, a little bit more demand, more buyers buying. Well, there was very low supply this summer and extraordinarily high demand. So we saw prices continue to rise in in a highly active market. Now, I don't think all of that is gonna change as we head into the fall market, but as we head into the fall market, sellers tend to be slightly less confident. And honestly, buyers have a bigger, better opportunity to buy from a slightly less confident seller. but total overall market activity tends to wane a little bit. It doesn't fully recover from the back to school transition. Also simply the heat of just getting out and being in people's houses um, restricts that market a little bit. So we are in the fall market. We are in the fall market. This is fall for real estate. And what that means is a little bit better opportunity for buyers and certainly not a bad opportunity for sellers at all. Still the all time best time to sell a home in DFW ever but not quite as strategically advantageous as June or July might have been. With interest rates as low as they are, we're gonna see that market still be attractive, but we'll probably see overall market activity dip because of this back to school. I mean, we are seeing that, but we'll get the stats you know, in probably October and be able to look back. But we'll see overall activity stay a little bit lower after this back to school business. And then certainly once we get into cooler weather, the extremes of fall market will will step up. We'll probably see inventory go even lower. This past weekend alone, we helped five different families buy a new home. Right. So that's a, that, that shows you that things have opened up a little bit for buyers because even on our team where we have a lot of activity, um, five buyers in one weekend is a good weekend. Um, sellers, we've been running and gunning on and we still are. We're not seeing our sellers opportunities dip or wane at all. But market-wide, we do see sellers with slightly lower confidence and slightly less of an extreme opportunity. So hopefully that helps communicate the point. 